America's Ammunition Company, or AAC, is hitting the ammo industry like a sledgehammer. Now, they are still somewhat unknown to some, but word is spreading fast about the quality of the ammo and especially for the price. Now, I have found the ammo to be exceptional and not just for the cost. You know, in literally thousands of rounds, guys, thousands of rounds I have shot in all the calibers that they offer, I have yet to have one single light primer strike or issue or anything and that is the honest truth now thus far i have reviewed everything they produce for the nine mil and the 556 now now for this review i'm going to cover all that they currently have for the 300 blackout and i've got one of the jackals here that i'm reviewing and i'm going to use that for some of this as far as the feet per second and some of the the technical data that i'm going to share with you now i'm going to chronograph all of it out of a PSA 16 inch barrel. And then of course the Jackal with an eight and a half inch barrel to show the difference between the two. And I'm gonna show you all this in the specs and tech. And then we're gonna test its accuracy using the 16 inch barrel. The accuracy in the Jackal will be in that review when I get that one done. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, real quick, AAC does sponsor me. Yeah, the elephant in the room. And some people have issues with that. Um, I really, I don't see how it's an issue because one of my favorite sayings is, and I say it in every single video, it is what it is. So, the feet per second, it is what it is. The accuracy, I'm shooting. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not skewing the results. I'm not down there punching holes in the paper. It is what it is. So an ammo review is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. They're really, at least in my opinion, there's no opinion in the review. It's just simply the facts and you decide what you think. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's check the speeds and energy. I'm gonna use a calculator, an energy calculator, because I wanna show you the energy, the foot pounds of energy for each of these fired out of the eight and a half and the 16 inch barrel, because that's gonna affect uh, possibly what you're looking uh, to shoot it out of. Hey, quick note on the heavier bullets. Um, I was told that it's common knowledge, but there's gonna be a lot of you that it's not common knowledge. When you're looking at the heavyweight bullets, you know, the 208, the 220, they typically are designed to run out of suppressed only. Now, a lot of folks aren't gonna know that. So if you don't have a suppressor, regardless of the platform, you very likely are going to run into issues with it not cycling. So if you've got a an AR-15 in a 300 blackout, you got a SIG, you got the Jackal, I personally, I've lucked out. I've been able to cycle them through most of the guns that I have, but I think that that is the exception. So know that if you're getting a 300 blackout and you don't have a suppressor, it's very likely that you're going to run into cycling issues with the heavy rounds. Okay, I want to try the AMAX one more time.
I don't know if we'll be able to stop it or it'll go all the way through, but let's give this a try and, you know, see if it, see if it mushrooms. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It'll Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. So when you look at the foot pounds of energy, especially for hunting purposes, the clear winner is the 110 grain coming out at 1995 foot pounds of energy out of the eight and a half and 1558 foot pounds out of the 16 inch barrel. Now for hunting purposes, the longer the barrel with the lighter load is definitely best with notable differences between the two. Now, as we move up in weight, that gap significantly decreases. You know, look at the similarity with the 220 grain in both speed and energy from the eight and a half to the 16 inch barrel. Okay, so what's the bottom line? If you're looking to shoot the 300 mostly suppressed, then I think you're definitely gonna wanna go with a shorter barrel. If you're looking primarily for hunting, then you're obviously gonna want to go with the longer barrel accuracy but the biggest thing is the energy just a quick note guys depending on your location and what your supersonic versus subsonic speeds are you may not be able to achieve subsonic out of the 16 inch barrel okay the average speed for the 220 and 208 in my location are not suppressed with every round in fact most of them are not and Yes, before anybody starts arguing and leaving comments, atmospheric conditions, elevation, geographic location will change the speed of supersonic versus subsonic. Not huge differences, but enough where we're at in this particular case to make that difference. I especially notice this with my 22 long rifle. Um, a lot of times things that should be subsonic here in my location or not. Now I have noticed that here where I'm at in the typical, you know, weather, environmental, atmospheric conditions, I need to stay at uh, 1,020 feet per second or below. It seems like when I go above that, then I start hearing, hearing the supersonic crack. Okay, so it is what it is with the speeds and the energy. You know, there's really no opinion there. Now let's check for accuracy at 100 yards using the 16-inch barrel. And again, uh, to do the accuracy out of the jackal, that will be on that review. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use for the accuracy test. I did a review on this. This is PSA's 300 blackout upper with a 16-inch barrel. I've got the right on 7 Conqueror, you know, with... A match grade trigger in there so really it should be down to pretty much the upper and the ammo as far as accuracy goes and i have had good luck 
with the upper. Okay, so I got the 208 grain. It's gonna drop a lot. I've got a test target. I'm gonna fire one round. We can see how far it's gonna drop and then I can use the adjustments in the reticle and bring that up and hopefully have them on target. I'll show you what I'm seeing. So it's dropping 10 MOA and that's the adjustment that I'm making to put those on the target. That gives you an idea of how slow they're going compared to the lighter loads. All right, let's just go take a look at the groups. Okay, so we started down here going left to right. This is the 110 A max. That's nice, actually. That's good. I'm happy with that. Then we went to the 125 grain full metal jacket. That's actually not bad, I don't think, for range ammo. Um, and then here we had the 150, but we were dropping. Uh, yeah, you know, you decide what you think. And then this was my test. So I fired the 208 and also the 220. And that was the 208, I believe. And that was the 220. And so then I made that adjustment, and here's the 208, you know, is what it is. And then here's the 220, that's 10 shots, that's a little bit better. So as far as the heavier goes, I think I'm going with the Sierra Match King, but definitely um, the 110 Amax, I think, is the winner for accuracy. Okay, so this is a windy day. I really, I did want to show you that's a 10 shot group with the full metal jacket. You know, it, you get rid of the two flyers. That's, that's really solid. I was really happy with that. And then this is the 110 Amax. You know, get rid of the flyer, same thing. We've got a group. Now, you know, the, the full metal jacket really did well. Uh, so then I went to the 120 grain Sierra Match King. I was aiming here, and the shots were coming down here. That's about 12 MOA drop at 100 yards. So I'm going to try taking the scope and using the 12 MOA and putting here at the crosshairs up here and see what we can get. Okay, so, you know, that 220 grain, when I actually moved down here and I was putting the 10 MOA line here, yeah, I really got a pretty decent group. I'm guessing these were maybe flinches or wind gusts because, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty consistent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. I had a couple test ones there. So it's not as bad as it was looking up here. That's the 220 grain. And then I did the control with the Hornady 208 grain, that's the that's the 220, ignore that, and you did the same thing. I used the 10 MOA line, and man, it, uh, it was kind of all over the place. I, I'm really not sure what to make of that. I usually have fantastic luck with Hornady. Um, I just, uh, yeah, I don't have an explanation. Just wasn't liking that. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this answered any questions that you might have about AAC's ammo, especially with a 300 blackout. Anyway, if you did find it helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help the most. Uh, like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember to educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Educate everybody about gun safety. And every time we're out on the range, every time we're shooting, especially these days, all eyes are on us. That makes you and me ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a good ambassador, guys. Represent us all well and be a safe and responsible gun owner.